This barricade recovery kit is for those of you that are going off-road and want a nice, easy, convenient grab bag full of most of the recovery gear that you're going to need, or at least a really nice starter pack that you can then add on to. This is going to be appropriately priced. It's also going to be very, very convenient. Like I said, you're gonna get most of the stuff you need all in one bag, all in one skew, instead of trying to piece something together. If you are new to the off-road, you're not sure exactly what you're going to need when you hit the trails, instead of just buying stuff that you may never use. Again, this is going to be a very, very nice starter set. Not much of an installation to talk about here. Obviously, these are things that you're going to be using and putting back in the bag and throwing back in the Jeep again, but we will talk a little bit more about how these are going to be used. Let's talk about the parts that are included in this kit. First, you're going to have your carrying bag, your storage bag here. And this might not seem like a huge deal, but when you have all of this gear just floating around in the back of your Jeep, it is very nice to keep everything organized. And this is a nice sturdy bag, has a nice heavy duty zipper, has lots of pockets on the inside and on the outside. Um, so it is going to store everything very nicely for you and just make it really convenient. When you do get stuck, you reach in the back of the Jeep, you grab your one bag, you know what you have, it's all gonna be right there for you. Starting over here, we have your first strap. This is a very wide strap. This is probably a four inch wide strap. It's going to have a 28,000 pound pulling capacity, roughly um, the equivalent here to the 13,000 kilograms. And this is going to be your snatch strap. And what that means is it has a little give to it. It has a little bit of stretch to it. And the idea there is that the uh, vehicle doing the recovery is it going to be get, able to get up a little bit of speed and use that stretch to one soften the blow to the vehicle that's stuck but actually use that stretch as things expand and then contract again to help get a little bit more momentum and help get that stuck vehicle unstuck so again this has a little bit of stretch that has a little bit of move to it this is going to be a shorter uh, five foot strap that is about three inches in diameter roughly um, and it also has a slightly lower pulling capacity, about 26,000 pounds um, equivalent. And this is really gonna be your tree saver. This isn't going to have the same stretch to it that this one here does. Um, and the idea behind a, a tree saver is that when you're using a tree as a winching point um, or you're attaching a snatch block onto a tree, you never want to attach the winch line directly around the tree and hook it to itself. That can take all the bark off all the way around the tree, which will then kill the tree. So the aptly named Tree Saver will allow you to put the strap around the tree and keep the tree safe so that next time you're stuck on that same trail, you're gonna have that same tree to winch off of. This here is called a drag chain, and it is absolutely for dragging debris off the trail and not for recoveries. These are metal hooks, this is a metal chain, this is not a recovery tool. This is for dragging fallen trees, fallen limbs off the trail, and that's it. Do not use this for recovery. This is very, very dangerous. This is for recovery. This is for recovery. This is absolutely not. Over here, you have a snatch block, and a snatch block can do a couple different things for you. It allows you to winch at an angle that you otherwise might not be able to winch at. Uh, this will allow you to double the pulling capacity of your winch. If you need to do that, you can go to your snatch block and back to your Jeep again, cutting your speed in half, but doubling your pulling capacity. So you're going to have that. And over here, you're going to have a couple of shackles, and these are um, three quarter inch shackles. So they are going to be four and three quarter ton. So they're more than enough um, as far as the pulling capacity of the shackles. You're going to have two of them, so you can go uh, to both ends of your strap. You can go and attach it to your tree saver that you have something to then attach your winch onto. You really can't have enough shackles uh, when you're doing a recovery. Having a bunch of them around is always helpful. This is going to give you two, which is going to be more than enough to get you started, but this is definitely one of those things where you can always add. And then you have a nice high quality set of gloves. These are a nice thick set of leather gloves that's very, very important, especially when you're handling a steel winch line. You can get uh, metal splinters from those. You just wanna make sure that you're protecting your hands when you're working really with any recovery gear, but especially be careful with those steel winch lines and these gloves are definitely going to help protect you. So like I said, not really an installation required with any of this stuff. This stuff's all going to be things that you're going to use. Um, you can attach your snatch strap to any load bearing recovery points or two inch receiver points on either vehicle using the D-rings or not using the D-rings. Be careful with these. If you do end up looping them uh, into themselves, you can actually end up with the situation where it gets really tight and gets difficult to undo. Um, so using a D-ring isn't a good way to go about it that we don't have to worry about that situation happening. 
Um, the drag chain is designed with these hooks on it that will allow you to make it any length that it needs to be. So essentially the hook will allow you to hook anywhere on the chain. It's just how those are designed. Um, the D-ring is pretty much a standard D-ring for those of you that don't know uh, because these can also get very tight during recovery. The hole in here is so that you can put a screwdriver in there and have some leverage to break these pins loose if they do end up getting tight on you during recovery. Um, that's basically it. Most of this stuff is pretty self-explanatory on how you're going to be using it on the trail. This whole kit's going to run you just shy of $100. I do think that's a good deal for what you're getting. Again, you have the recovery bag, which is might not seem like a big deal right off the bat, but is definitely a nice piece to have when you have a bunch of recovery gear in your Jeep. A really nice starter set, giving you a little bit of everything that you're going to need. Definitely can get yourself out of some sticky situations with everything that's included here, and I think the price is right. So if you're looking for a one-stop shop recovery gear kit, I definitely recommend this one from Barricade, and you can find it right here at ExtremeTerrain.com. Thank you.